Going into this season, knowing that this was going to be your last year playing with these guys, playing at this high school, what was your mentality coming into this season? Um, I just came in every game, just gave it all I got. And I wouldn't want to spend my year with anyone else but these guys. I love those guys. So I just played hard for me and them. Amen. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah! Oh, hey, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Hey, 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 bring it in. Hey, Make history, y'all, boy. Hey, family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. You fell short of what you wanted to accomplish, but what did you take away as a player? What do you think made you better as you move on and continue to play? Ah, uh, the toughness, man, toughness. Well, yeah, you battle a toe injury. Yeah, in the season, yeah. So I think the toughness played a big part. Being mentally tough, because it's days we we work, you know, day no days off. We went weeks, days, no rest, you know. So, yeah, the mental mental toughness is the biggest thing I get from me. How does being captain feel? How does that, what does that mean to you? Uh, being captain feels like I have to set the tone for everything that I do. So I think it runs off of me how good our team plays and how bad our team plays. reputation for never backing down from a challenge. You're kind of the tough guy on this team. Yeah. Where do you get that persona from? Is it something you've always had, or have you developed it with age? I just developed it, like, growing up. Like, I was playing at the park. Mm -hmm. like, I never really played, like, travel ball when I was little. So, like, growing up at the park, playing with older boys, like, got me tougher. What do you think makes you such a dynamic player? What do you think separates you from any other player that you've come across? Uh, I shoot the ball well. I can handle it. I'm athletic. I can finish above the rim. Mm -hmm. Just different things like that.
speaking of going hard, you had an explosive game against Boyd Anderson, 17 points. How do you take, you took that energy, you brought it to the Doral Academy game. Coming off of a game like that where you just put on for your city, for your country, for your team, for your school, did you kind of underestimate Doral Academy a little bit because you came off such a big game? Did you kind of say, I got this? I to be win. honest, we low-key like overestimated them. Like we like overprepared. Like, like we made it like at like they were better than they was, but they really wasn't. So you started off a little slow this season, but you picked up at the right moment at the right time. What was it about it that kind of shifted for you? Because, you know, the injury's nagging. It's an ankle injury. It's annoying. And it kind of derails your season. But then you get it back on track. What was the deciding factor? When did it all change for you? I want to say after, like, the 2017, like, going into 2018, mm -hmm. I just felt like mentally, like, I changed. So I think it was all, like, a mental factor. <laughs> How are you feeling? What's going through your mind? Well, just as a coach, I, I, I've, I've kind of learned that to watch the clock as least as possible mm -hmm. until it gets down to the three-minute mark. And that's, for me, that's winning time. Uh, but just uh, as a coach, especially in that game, when we did cut it to four, mm -hmm. uh, their best player, he, he hit a three-point shot. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I mean, I know it's, just a, as a coach, I, I wanted to give that kid so much respect. made a state final at all. So you guys were kind of the favorites. I mean, you had the Cinderella season, you guys were meshing at the right time, clicking at the right time, and you come to these guys. Did part of you think, okay, we kind of got this. We got them. The whole time I thought we had, I was really? like, we got this. any regret? Do you feel like you could have done more? Do you, is it like a thought in the back of you? Does it keep you up at night? Like, if I would have made that final shot, if I would have, you know, hit that one free throw, maybe we could, you know, have a state championship right now. I'll be honest, I mean, I still feel like I could have done more, mm -hmm. but I don't try to let it bother me too much because mm -hmm. it can, like, really mess you up mentally. Outside of falling short and not making it to that state final, do you have any regrets this season or you feel like you played the best basketball of your career so far this season? Yeah, this is the best season I've had out of my, all four years of high school. Why do you think this that is? About, I, I played a bigger role on the team. You're on the verge of history. You're on the verge of making that trip. <laughs> What do you tell them? You walk into that locker room, what do you do? Are you pacing back and forth? Thinking, like, what am I going to say to these guys? Like, what you have seniors that are leaving. Yeah. You know, they fell short. What, what's going through your mind? What words do you have for them? I, I always tell the guys, I'm the worst speech giver of, on a losing situation. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to give losing mm -hmm. speeches after you lose. Uh, uh, what, what was going through my mind is I was walking, we lost, I'm walking, you know, the guy, he interviewed me, they were asking me questions, and as we were walking to the locker room, you know, I, 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 saw, I saw one of the kids, uh, Antoine, um, and, you know, just, he kind of he made me get a little emotional than I wanted to get, because he was kind of crying, and I'm like, oh, man, 
Uh, I, I was just thinking about what I was going to say to If, 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 fellas, fellas, like I said, man, it's, it's definitely one of those times, man. I just want, I just want to get y'all in here um, one last time, and this will be, this will be off basketball. Uh, and I told y'all this on Saturday, and I'm gonna tell y'all this today. And it has nothing to do with basketball. Well, the first thing I'm gonna say, y'all, for whatever y'all do, man, for whatever y'all do from this point on in life, and, and, and make sure y'all be prepared for, to fight for it. It's your biggest regret this season, I think I know it, but uh, not scoring more points. I feel like if I scored more points, we could have helped. Really? So yeah. That was the deciding factor. One yeah. of the deciding factors that could have made all the difference. Of course. And what is your biggest lesson then? What are you going to take away? Uh, don't take nothing for granted. I don't always work hard. We walk out of here, everybody lift their heads up. Y'all change our facial expressions. Basketball don't stop. The world don't stop. We lost. That's tough. But let that shit go. For real. That's, that's, that's some tough stuff. That's y'all growing up and being mean. Y'all let it go. It happens. It happens. Let it go. It's one game. Some people losing houses. Some people losing getting cars taken away. Some people getting their children taken away. Let that shit go. That's a game. It's a game and it's an entertaining sport. Y'all let it go. And you, if you go back and look at all the things that you did wrong, you eat yourself up inside. And trust me, I did. Let it go. Good time. Take me to that locker room after the game. I mean, you guys overcame a lot this season. You know, 0-4 in your district, but then you win that game that changes everything. You beat Boyd Anderson, you go on to play Doral Academy, and it's just not enough. You know, that locker room between Boyd, the Boyd game, and the Doral game, it's probably night and day. Yeah. Take us in that room with you. What, was it silence? Was it just anger? Was it frustration? Was it, what, what was going on in that locker room? It was everything combined. Once we first got in there, everybody was mad, Every, punching, punching the walls, crying their eyes out. And then once the coaches got in there, it was like real silent, dark, deep. Nobody really couldn't talk because we were so devastated after that loss. Describe the season for me. I know that you fell short of probably what you wanted to accomplish, especially it being your last year, but how do you feel like it changed you as a player and most importantly, you know, as a man? Um, it, just, it was just a great experience. Um, I learned a lot of things throughout the season. Um, I just grew as an individual on and off the court. In what ways? Um, just being a leader, being able to just communicate more. It's just the things you learn on the court, just it helps you like off the court. This is their team, they've been here. They almost made it to a state final. They know they're capable of doing it, but now you have new guys that you have to kind of do that with. So what advice do you give them to embrace that, but also challenge it at the same time? Um, just for the juniors, think about, think about that, that loss. When, when you started crying, all them tears, everybody looking down, just think about that. Think about that day, and and you tell the new guys just, hey, we, we mean business here. We just lost our last game, and and it, and it really hurts. Yeah, you know what, man, we lost it. All right, man, but I promise you, I promise you one thing. That sun is gonna come up tomorrow. True story, huh? Shit's gonna come up tomorrow. True story. Fellas. And when that sun come up tomorrow, you better be knowing inside your mind what you're working towards. So not at the end of the day, like you said, we lost it, man. A lot of you guys are going to play a lot more basketball. Some of you guys are going to go on, you know what I'm saying, and have a good college careers, whether it's academic, be entrepreneurs and everything like that. So don't just get caught up in one moment, a glimpse of your life. Trust me, man. It's going to be a lot more, you know what I'm saying, high points inside your life. But from the bottom of my heart, man, like I tell every North Virginia guy that's here, man, you guys went through a lot. For my seniors, man, to make it through us, Man, you are prepared for anything inside the world. I'm telling you. True story. All the seniors who leave here, you talk to them. They'll come back and say, "Man, well, you make it to those guys, like what? No, you ready for anything?" So at the end of the day, man, you don't know say you guys had growth. And for the underclassmen, think about it. It's back on y'all now. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? These seniors, you know, they did 
the best indie team that we ever had in the history here at Murphy's High School. They got us the further. However, you know what I'm saying? It may not have been our time with this team. But now, y'all, on the class, look what's going on. Look at the hard work it takes, man. For all y'all JV guys, look at the hard work that it takes, man. But like I say, fellas, thank you guys for everything, you know what I'm saying? Every practice, every, you got me, uh, pretty much you got to be humble. Listen to everything we, uh, we said, putting your backs on the wall, putting your body on lock. I appreciate it on behalf of Coach Staff from the bottom of my heart. appreciate it, fellas. Yeah, let's pray. I definitely second that. Yeah, let, 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 let's pray, y'all. Like yes. Well, thanks for letting us. Um, let, thank for letting us get through this game without no hurt, harm. Well, please watch over as we go home. Give us travel mercy. to let your angels guide us and protect us. But more importantly, Lord, please watch over these young men. Guide their mind. Um, and please, Lord, put your blessings on whatever their futures endeavor may be. Um, and let us um, keep keep in mind that our most important goal is making it to heaven. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Hey, fellas, let's bring this. Come let's get in. Let's get this more peace. Y'all, let's change y'all face. Y'all, let's get out of here. Y'all, let's stand. Let's put our hands up, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Family on three, northeast on six. One, two, three. Family on four, five, six. Northeast. Keeper, yeah, I got his back. I break bread with him, he won't never lack. And I get out the way when it's his time to shine. What's mine is his, what's his is mine. And we don't play around. My dog's up, but stay down. My dog's here like the bitch. Yeah.